Alright, so... Movo recently sent me the new WMX2 wireless lavalier system, and uh, I've had it now for a few months. One thing that I wanted to do is give you guys kind of more of a real world test. Um, some of the tests that I've done so far have pretty much just been in the studio space, so little bit of background, we are using Movo's new WMX2 wireless lavalier system. Obviously right now we're going completely handheld, uh, recording straight into the Lumex S5, and you guys can kind of see the little packaging that this system actually comes in. One thing that I like is it's pretty unique in regards to it's a charging station, also plus a carrying kit, and it allows you easily to take both mics and receiver on the go. Alright, oh, the gear. So. We obviously gave it a little bit of a test in the airport earlier, and I think that that going hand handheld and everything like that is a good opportunity to just put this uh, microphone to the test. This is what is going to be included with your WMX2. Now this charging little station is pretty awesome. And when I open it for you guys, you guys can see in here we have two slots, one being for our transmitter that we're currently using and one for our receiver. Now we also have the option of another transmitter as well that's going to go right into that receiver. So it's kind of nice that you have two lavaliers that come in here going into that one receiver and currently recording into that S5. Now, nifty things about this, it also is a charging case, so your microphones are gonna get recharged in this guy and if you need to actually charge it not in the case you're going to have the ability of on the side here but we have USB C power input or just the ability to recharge uh, on the end of the microphone of course we have our lavalier input and we also have the microphone which we're currently using right now so you have options like I said we have two transmitters one receiver and these can also be used not only for your high-end camera but also for your iPhone and so it's just real quick and slick and then the goodies that come along with it. Now, the upside is you're gonna have USB charging. We're gonna have a uh, lavalier little microphone. We are going to have another charger. And then we will have our lavalier and we'll have two of these. Obviously got another one. And we've got dead cats that come with the lavaliers, which are gonna be nice. So you're gonna have your phone little mic and then you're also gonna have a dead cat. That way if you're outside, you're dealing with wind, the elements, this is really gonna come in handy. And then they also give you a mic weight. And these are really cool because basically you're just going to pop it on the end of a lavalier and then you would just drop it down your shirt easy and it avoids any awkward situations. All right, so we've obviously taken the microphone and tested it at the airport. We did it in the hotel room. But the one thing I wanna give a test is we're here in Florida right now Honestly, in the middle of, I guess you would consider this a hurricane for most of you guys, uh, Hurricane Ian. It's windy as can possibly be out here. We're lobbed up with the dead cat. And I thought, well, why the heck not? We're just sitting inside, not doing too much. And uh, might as well give the WMX2 a good test in regards to this situation. So as I mentioned, this could be good or this could be bad. Now we've got our lavalier here with the dead cat underneath the shirt and then boom, here's our transmitter. We're fired up, we're recording at four in regards to our volume level and we're going to the Lumex S5. Now, lavalier audio, as we had discussed earlier, a lot of people put it on their collar. I absolutely understand and I'm doing that right now. But uh, if I had my choice, I would take some gaffer's tape, probably put it underneath the shirt make sure it's nice and in there. And uh, I just find that gets good audio, but we're giving this a test in this interesting environment. Let's just hear what it sounds like without me even talking real quick. Ooh, all right. This is gonna be interesting, but we're literally in the middle of a tornado, but let's do a distance test here for you guys. Man, this could just be a disaster, I don't know. Let's find out. All right, WMX2, how you gonna do? Whew, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, holy cow, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, I don't know what the winds are at right now, but 
I've got to say maybe 25, 30 miles an hour. So nothing compared to what others are dealing with. But it's crazy watching the pine trees just bend and stuff like that. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. All right, we're going to go around a tree real quick to see if that does any interference. Keeping talking, mainly just so you guys can get an understanding, would that interfere? I don't know if you can see me over here, but we will keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7. And let me just give you guys a little bit of a taste of what it sounds like with the wind here. Whew. So lavalier audio, definitely one thing. Uh, if I had to choose shotgun lavalier, I'm gonna go lavalier. I don't know why, I feel like it's a little bit more versatile. And if you can just place it in the right places, a lot of times you can just get really good clean audio. Um, shotgun mics are amazing if you can get them nice and close to your subject, but that was a little bit of a taste of how this microphone would function in the middle of a hurricane, I guess. Ah, it's not completely here yet. Here's the thing I would say is like, I enjoy using a lavalier when it comes to vlogging. I know that a lot of people just want to have the uh, shotgun mic on top of their camera, which I do as well. I've got a Movo uh, VXR10 Pro that I always use. But I find with how small of a setup this is with the transmitter and even the receiver, I mean, it's just, it's a scenario where like this and it being in its case is so tiny that uh, I'd honestly take this over the shotgun mic in some cases, just because if I need to, obviously I can just hold it up and we can talk directly into the transmitter or we can go lav style. So it's one of those things where of course, I'm probably gonna bring both my shotgun mic that would go on top of the camera, but I'm also gonna bring the lavalier set. But it's just nice to know that like that's your case and boom, you bring your lavalier mics and you're ready to go. So I do have to admit, uh, I love the audio that I've been getting out of it so far. And uh, as far as versatility goes, as I've mentioned, it's just been super easy. Plug, record, let's go. It charges in its power case, but can't give it all thumbs up and there's this is just me being super nitpicky and it boils down to I think you guys can probably see but I've got some of the gear that comes with the setup and it gives you everything you could need you've got your dead cats you've got your USB-C power things we've got our mic weight which is pretty cool um, and then we've also got our charging case but where do you put all these cables that's been my only gripe so far is that I actually just needed to use a sunglass case and I've put all those goodies in there and I carry it with me. But that's kind of like my only kind of knock on the setup so far is that I wish somehow, and, and do I have an answer? No, I don't. But uh, it would be pretty cool if the uh, case actually could hold some of the stuff inside. Now I know that would make it bigger. And so would I like it as much? I don't know. But overall thoughts and opinions on the Movo WMX2 is one, Thank you, Movo, for sending it to me. And two, guys, if you're looking for something slick, relatively uh, doable on the price range, and you get two microphones and one receiver, and it's super tiny uh, on the fly, I think you should take a look at it. And I think what people could find is that vlogging, podcasting, interviews, just anything you need to do, as long as you got this. And like I mentioned, you got a little bag with all your goodies. You're gonna have some pretty quality audio.